Item number SCP-005 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-005 poses no immediate risk in any direct sense. Even so, its unique functions require special measures to be taken to restrict access and manipulation of the object. Approval of at least one level 4 personnel is required for the removal of the object from its containment area. Description In appearance, SCP-005 resembles an ornate key, displaying the characteristics of a typical mass-produced key used in the 1920s. The key was discovered when the civilian used it to infiltrate a high-security facility. SCP-005 seems to have the unique ability to open any and all forms of lock. See Appendix A, be they mechanical or digital. With relative ease, the origin of this ability has yet to be determined. Additional notes, SCP-005 may be used as a replacement for lost security passes, but only under the supervision of at least one level 4 personnel. SCP-005 may not be used for vending machine repairs, opening lockers, or for any personnel's spare home key. Removal of the object from the compound will result in immediate termination. Appendix A. While SCP-005 has been shown to be effective in removing almost any form of locking device, further experiments have shown that efforts to disguise the purpose or identity of a lock have proven at least somewhat successful in defeating SCP-005's ability. In approximately 50% of cases where a volunteer was not able to identify a locking device as such, SCP-005 was not successful in deactivating the device. Due to these results, SCP-005 has been tentatively classified as sentient, and further tests have been run to determine its cognitive abilities. However, there are no results that show any traits that prevent it from being able to identify any particular locking device, only that the aforementioned device has been heavily concealed and disguised. Under direct orders of the Founder, access is limited to those with Overseer Clearance. Overseer Clearance Granted Item Number SCP-006 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Where as the nature of SCP-006 does not want any extensive containment, a certain level of secrecy is necessary regarding the object's existence and properties for obvious reasons. The following procedures are required not for personnel safety, but to deny or hide knowledge of SCP-006's effects from the personnel who interact with it. 1. All personnel interacting with SCP-006 in any physical way are required to wear modified Class 6 BNC suits. Before personnel are allowed to perform procedures, they must be breathed with material SCP-006-B or SCP-006-C. SCP-006-A briefing is the correct one and is restricted to only those with O5 clearance. To ensure personnel are wearing suits properly, they are to be submerged into a pool of water. Any air bubbles spotted signify a leak in the suit. 2. Procedures with SCP-006 are to be carried out under extreme surveillance. In case of contact with SCP-006, the commander in charge will announce procedure 006 Key 12, which the personnel have been briefed to believe to mean high toxicity is present and they must evacuate. 3. Any procedure in which liquid is acquired from SCP-006 must be approved by three O5 level personnel. The liquid is to be transferred in a quad sealed container and under armed guard. 4. If at any time personnel come into contact with SCP-006 or liquid from SCP-006, they are to be confined and terminated after sufficient studies are done. Due to the nature of SCP-006, the most effective termination method is incineration. For full report, see file 
SCP-006-205 Description SCP-006 is a very small spring located 60 kilometers west of Esquihan. Foundation Command was aware of its existence since the 19th century and were unable to secure it until 1991 due to political reasons. On the spot of the spring, a chemical factory has been constructed as a disguise, with the majority of laborers under foundation and over Russian control. The liquid emitted from the spring has been chemically identified as simple mineral water in 1902, but has the unusual property of health. Ingesting the liquid produces the following properties in human beings. The ability to regenerate DNA damaged by sufficient duplication, heightened excitement of cellular duplication, vastly improved abilities in the repair of damaged tissue, and a frightening increase in the effectiveness of the human immune system. Upon testing the liquid on animal subjects, hostile bacteria and bioagents were destroyed immediately. Many reptiles and birds were unaffected, while higher primates experienced the same benefits as humans.